Hi guys, this is a review of the Wintact WT3121. Basically it's an EMF meter. How good it is compared to the other ones, we'll find out as we go along. But first of all, it's held easily in the hand. It's not going to slip out too easily. And you've only got three buttons which is cool. So let's just turn it on. <coughs> Straight away there, you can see the screen coming up. In the middle, it's the temperature, 24.8. And you can quite easily just change that from centigrade to Fahrenheit by pushing this button down here. So it's 76.6 Fahrenheit, 24.8 centigrade. Long press the exactly the same button and the bottom gauge, the tester, changes to milligrams. Just like that. If you want the average, you can press on the average. That gives you the, the maximum figures and the lower figures. And it won't come off the screen like that until you do that. So, I'll put that down there. As you can see, the screens have gone back to naught, and we've got 24.9 up. How does that weight against, say, the traditional K2 meter? Well, let's just run it alongside. There's a K2 meter there. And just here, I've got a speaker. Does the K2 meter pick up the speaker? No, nope, nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's the wind tag. There you go. It's picking up quite nicely. So, the Wintac is working better than the K2 meter. How about another EMF sensor that I've got, which is the Smart Sensor. Just going to put that alongside it. Now notice here that the Smart Sensor also has a temperature gauge. Now how accurate these temperatures are, I don't know. Uh, the smart sensor is currently showing 24 and the Wintac 25. The thing is with the Wintac, the temperature is taken, I think it must be an average because it doesn't really flip over too quickly. Whereas the temperature on the smart sensor it actually does record what it's getting at the time. How accurate are they are both? I don't know. So we already know that the Wintac picks up the speaker. Does this one? Just a little bit in there maybe. There you go. That one's picking up. The K2 meter? Nothing. Actually nothing. Intact. There you go. It went red. If you get a dangerously high level, the screen turns red. It's picking it up. Whereas the smart sensor, there you go, it the smart sensor will pick it up. Maybe not quite as good as the Wintac. So, final device. This is a tried and tested uh, model that we use in the club. Um, in the club, 
different units usually give out more or less the same sort of temperatures and the same sort of readings. And it is the precision gold temperature and humidity meter. Just going to turn up there. As you can see, the temperature on that is 24.2. So 24.2, smart sensor 24.1. 25.1 Now all of these devices will turn off over time so uh, you can't just set them up and leave them running but as you can see there the temperature gauge is holding steady at 24.2 The Rentac is holding steady at 25.1 and the smart sensor 24.1, So I would say, looking at that, that the smart sensor and the hydrometer are giving you the accurate temperature gauge. This one, more of an idea on the Rintac. So uh, the temperature gauge isn't as accurate as you, maybe we would like it to be. So there you go. Just so we can get this to work again. Nothing from the K2. Not picking up anything at all. And there you go. The Rentax just automatically switches itself off. Let's turn it back on. And we'll just bring that by there again. And as you can see. Picking up the speaker perfectly. Not going to pay two. So I think, looking at that, we're probably getting a better K2 meter from the wind tank. The top fuel electrics. Um, have I got the electrics on me? No, I haven't. Uh, the top fuel does measure the electric field around you. Unfortunately, I don't have anything here at the moment that will give off electrics. Um, I've got uh, my recording device. That's about it. That's the device. I think personally that the um, the EMF, the tester, works fine. Uh, just show the tester working on another case. Let's just see if it picks up here. There you go. It's picking up perfectly. And what I'm going to do is take this out, probably back out to Bishop's Wharf and Palace because there's a couple of places over there which I didn't get the chance to investigate when I was over there last time and uh, I'd like to go back over there anyway. So I'm probably going to take the gauge out there, give it a workout and uh, see what we can come up with. Uh, one thing to note here, there's no force kits. The K2, well, it didn't pick up anything at all, really. Um, the smart sensor, once again, it only picks up when it comes in contact with the MF that battery, as did the Wintag. You will notice that all devices here are um, not giving out any kind of force readings, except for the temperature, as I said. Um, I don't know if you can see that. 24.2 there. Just put this up. 24.1, 24.2. Measuring quite nicely there. But the wind tank is now showing 25.3. And there you go. The magnetic field is now activated. So I'll put it back down. Goes down zero. So it's obviously something up here which is picking up. 
Should be the, uh, the recording device. But you can see there that the EMF meter or Tesla gauge is not activating, whereas the magnetic field is. So it, it just gives you a little bit of an input as to what it is that's around you and what you can or can't get. So that's it for now and like I said I'll be taking it out for a walk very soon. So for now take care and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.